back. It is good to be back. It is always good to be back. Oh, is that a little weird? All right. Uh, welcome to the Boxing Bucky. That was strange. Did you guys miss? All right. That, that was a mess up on my intro. All right, guys, we're going to get into a good one today. Manny Rodriguez, Ryo Nishida, uh, which is going to be in Japan on May 4th. So just a few days away. This is a really good fight for the IBF World Bantamweight title. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the lock of the week and a million other perks. Get a ton of perks for just $5 a month. Uh, you get the lock of the week. You can ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap any fight for you. Uh, there's a ton of other perks. There's a free t-shirt involved. So join the Patreon. It's the best way to support the boxing bookie. And it's the best way to get rich and make money betting on the sport of boxing. Losing my brain here. All right, guys. Also, uh, Texas Boxing Casino on YouTube. Join Texas Boxing Casino on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Okay. Texas Boxing Casino. On YouTube. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Let's get into let's get into the fight. Manny Rodriguez has been around for a while now. He's already 31 years old. Um, you know, he, he emerged for us in 2017, 2016, 2017, 2018. Uh, he, he's a veteran now. He's 31 years old. IBF World Bantamweight title, which he won from uh, Melvin Lopez back in August of 2023. I like him. Uh, good power boxer. Good footwork. Stays in front of you. He can switch between conventional and southpaw. And he cuts you off. He stays in front of you. He can cut the ring off well. He doesn't let you get away from him. I don't think Nishida is cert- is, is going to try to get away from him. So I, I don't, you know, that's not really going to be a part of what helps him win this fight if he does win this fight. He throws hard shots. And doesn't let you breathe. He's a power boxing technician. Pretty good on the inside. Pretty good pop, right? Not, not nothing sensational, but he he is, he's a good hitter. Decent foot speed. Pretty decent athlete. Sharp counter puncher. Really, really sharp with, with his counter shots. Applies pressure well. Right, he, he applies pressure intelligently. He's got a pretty high ring IQ. He's not a big volume guy, but he lets his hands go enough. Right, like he's not going to lose rounds for inactivity, but he's also not going to win them on volume. You know what I'm saying? He, he applies pressure well with his feet. He makes you back up. He makes you, you know, he's got enough power. He makes you shell up a little bit. He, he likes to come forward. He's an excellent finisher too. Like the guy's a good puncher. He's a good, he's he's not a sensational puncher, right? But he's got pretty decent pop. Good, powerful, accurate shots from the outside. Good long range sniper. He's good at and he's physically strong, so he's good at maintaining that distance, right? He can he can use his body and his strength to get you away from him, right, and keep you away from him. And then he throws hard straight shots where he can maintain that range. He doesn't like to go backwards. If you can make him go backwards, he, he struggles. He can make you miss a little bit, right? Like he's got decent movement, but offensively he's muted if you can make him go backwards. And, and that's where Ryo Nishida needs to get him. If Ryo Nishida can get him moving backwards, that's where he's going to have success. That's where he's going to win this fight. Now, what is Ryo Nishida? This is a guy a lot of you might not be familiar with. Just eight no, just one knockout. I, I think that is, you know, he's been obviously been moved along quickly to be fighting for a world title in just his eighth, ninth, well, ninth pro fight. This will be his 12th, his uh, fifth scheduled 12 rounder. Uh, he's been fighting 12 rounders since his, his fourth pro fight where he fought Dago Higa, which is a good opponent. He beat him for an a- WL Asian belt. This guy just moves quickly. Straight up, 
comes in behind the jab. Southpaw. Uh, Pacing Stalker, he's in control. He's calm. He, for a guy that has just eight fights, he is extremely composed. You know, typical kind of Japanese stance. He stands up. He, he, he's straight. He's, he, he's in front of you, right? He's not incredibly difficult to hit, but he's fundamentally sound defensively. Nice, straight, strong punches. Really good footwork. Really, really well trained, right? Good technician in the ring. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Good footwork. He's pretty light on his feet. Pretty good, pretty good athlete, pretty good mover, pretty quick. He's going to be the quicker guy in the ring. He also likes to leave. So you got two guys in the ring who like to leave. This guy, he's got quick reflexes and good speed. I really, really like this guy. I really like uh, Ryan Nishida. Good uppercuts, too. Right, he, Inside's not really his game, but he can fire off uppercuts with the left hand on the inside. Good combination puncher. Good pop and speed. There's a lot, like, he's just good, right? Like, there's no real major flaws in him. Pretty good com- uh, pretty good combination puncher. Pretty good volume. Defensively, he's basic, right? He can move it laterally a little bit, but he's basically in front of you and just blocks and picks off shots. He's not incredibly difficult to hit, right, because he's in front of you. It's not sensational movement. It's just a slight, little slight head movement, right? You can tag him. He can be hit. That's for sure. Uh, and, and Manny Rodriguez is is, is is good at long range. So this is going to be a great fight. Like, this is a really, really even fight. This is a really, really good fight. He might have some gas tank issues. This is the one thing I've seen. Um, he, he's not a puncher. But he also doesn't seem feather fisted. It just seems like he hasn't been given a ton of tuna cans that he's going to knock out in the first round. Like he was moved up quickly. He was given good oppositions. He punches through targets, right? Like he's not punching to him like, He's punching with intention. So it, may, it might just be a matter of growing into his man strength, getting his power. He is 27, so he's not a baby, uh, but like just, just eight fights. Puts his punches together well. It's a good combination puncher. He fires shots. He puts them together three, four shots at a time. There is a lot to like about him. Uh, so how do we make money on his fight, which seemingly is a 50-50 fight? Remember, guys, he's also in Japan. Japanese fighters tend to get the benefit of the doubt when the fight is in Japan. Ryo Nishida is going to be tough to beat. He's not an easy guy to win rounds. He's gonna, I think he's going to throw more shots. You know, and they're even in so many things. But I think Nishida's got is going to have a, a advantage in, in volume. I think he's going to have an advantage in speed and reflexes. I think he can hit Manny from long range, more than Manny can hit him, and that's not something Manny's used to. So I, I, this is 50-50. I think in close rounds, they're going to side with the home with the home countrymen. I am really 50-50 on this. So let's take a look on, on how we can make money on this. Ready, y'all? I'm going to go with the Sheeta on the money line. It pays plus 180. I think he's going to win this fight. I really like the odds on this. Plus 180. Uh, plus 180. $100, $100 bet. Your typical bet. One times bet is going to make you 180 bucks. It's pretty good on a, on a guy that, you know, I'm like 51-49 on. Or 52-49. I'm just ever so slight, slightly leaning towards this. You know, and it's paying well. You could Go with the over. I'm pretty sure it goes the over. It doesn't pay well, but I would really make my bet on the shooting. If you want to hedge it with, you know, over 10 and a half rounds, I don't mind this. But if you really, oh, sorry, over 10 and a half, it's minus 425. Those aren't great odds. I don't love this. I like this bet. I think this is a gamble worth taking. I think this is something that we can hit on Nishida. Plus 100, uh, plus 180. It's going to make you 180 bucks on a $100 bet. I really like this bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social book, uh, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single major fight, showing you how to consistently bring down the house. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. We're making money. Join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Get the lock of the week. The lock of the week is a lock. You're not going to lose. You're going to make money on the lock of the week because that's what we always do. Uh, it also gets a ton of other products like a free T-shirt. 
uh, as the bookie anything on Handicap 25 PPS. So a ton of perks on that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it is, it's May 1st now, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.